Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business, where our goal is to see you succeed. Our expert is Chris Odongo of Wild International, who is here to discuss about the relevance of ICT in business. Karibu sana, Chris. Thank you. What is ICT? ICT, first of all, just the acronym stands for Information Communication Technologies. And a lot of people think it's information, communication, and technology. Mm -hmm. And that's really the distinction that you must make initially. So, and technologies suggest that information and communication is separate, technology is separate. And technology basically means how to make work or how to make life easier. So for example, the motor vehicle is technology. An aeroplane is technology. And so you have to be clear that when you say in ICTs, you say information communication technologies, which basically then refers to different technologies that help us to keep our information and to communicate better. Mm -hmm. So for example, a mobile phone is an ICT device. Uh, mobile phone companies are ICT companies. How does ICT support businesses? How would it help entrepreneurs in their businesses? When you're looking at ICT, the two words that you need to watch out for is ICT as an enabler and ICT as a differentiator. Now, ICT is an enabler in the sense that it empowers your business. It's a differentiator because it helps you to set yourself apart and different from others. I'll explain a little bit about ICT as an enabler. Think of the traditional way in which we used to do our postal mail. A long time ago, a company like Kenya Power would send you their invoices by post. Today, they send you the same invoice by SMS. So in that sense, ICT has enabled their business. Same thing with you. Today you can send your money by phone. It's enabling your, your business. Previously you'd had to go to the bank, put your money in the account. You probably had to, if you are like me, you probably did send the, for your money to your folks via Akamba and the risks that came, that came with it. How does ICT help with the bottom line? If you allow me to use the same example of Kenya Power, I'll tell you this, if Kenya Power has 100,000 customers, it used to cost them 20 shillings per letter. That was 2 million bob per month. In a year, they'd spend 24 million shillings just sending invoices. Today, if they send an SMS, it's how much? A shilling, which basically means it's costing them one shilling times 100,000 is 100,000 times 12. It's only 1.2 million. The balance goes directly to their bottom line. If today you are in business and you have a customer that is across town, how do you send the invoice? You don't take it and put it on a motorbike, which will charge you 500 shillings. You put it on an email, attach it, and you send it. And that saves you 500 shillings. Because what is the cost of your email? Really? Nothing. So that goes directly to your bottom line. And now if you add on to that and you have an accounting system, then that email has come from a record somewhere which basically means that when your client then pays you, you're able to go into that accounting system and deduct that payment. And at the end of the year, you're able to actually see what your profit and loss is. Before, entrepreneurs and business owners had to collect all the physical invoices, add them up, collect all the physical receipts, subtract, and then be able to arrive at their, at their profit, which was a very manual and tedious process, making it difficult for them to actually also get timely information. Because when you think about ICT, it's information and communication. So with an accounting system, you have information in your server that is then able to be produced in a report and you're able to communicate with your clients very easily via email. Chris, ICT has been embraced as one of the key pillars mm -hmm. for the 2030 vision. Yes. Mm. What does it mean for entrepreneurs okay. or any businesses in our country? I think the first thing that you have to ask yourself as a business owner, when you hear Vision 2030, what does it actually mean? It means 15 years from now, the country will be a middle-income country. Now, if ICT is one of the pillars, then it means that in 2030, we'll have so many young people who have high IT skills. So what it means for your business is, if you're selling computers, then you'll have very many users for your computers. If you're selling mobile phones, then you'll have very many users for your mobile phones. Okay, But if you're doing a traditional business, then you want to ask yourself, what is the effect of that 
whole ICT culture going to have on your business. There's this time when a couple of years back, I go back to Kenya Power, about five years back, what used to happen is the queues at the banking hall used to be horrendous. And what we would do is we used to have these messengers who would pay 100 or 200 bob to actually go and pay for us our bills. And some people actually built businesses out of that, you know. But today, where are those businesses? You cannot build a business on the basis of paying bills because nowadays people pay bills direct from their phones. So if you extrapolate into the future, what are people doing and what are people buying from you and on, or how are they buying from you that then will be affected by ICTs? If people can actually receive their goods from you by delivery, then it means that you might not necessarily need to have a physical shop. You actually might just need to have a warehouse, a website, and people will order online and you'll deliver the, the goods to them. Again, that might actually very, create a very impersonal nature of business. And people might actually want to connect with businesses. And so if you create a personal touch in your business and actually create a physical location, you may be able to actually charge more for your goods and services because you'll be doing something that everyone else is, is not doing. And so Vision 2030 means, it means uh, boom time, but it also means gloom and doom for some businesses. Thank you so much, Chris. That was indeed enlightening. I, I hope that the entrepreneurs at home have actually picked up something. Thank you for inviting me to the show. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Have a blessed week.